Oh, hi, Swedish. There we go. The uh, the the new and approved Soloro Soriasu has been added to the combat map. Fantastic. No, I can't see your health bar anymore. Well, uh, that's because oh, I I, uh, I have to give ownership <laughs> to all of you little ones. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Did did you actually end up testing out this macro at some, uh, the the token at some point? I sent it to you, Jonas. Um. Uh. No, I I completely forgot. I didn't think so. I figure you're so busy going vacation, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, fuck yeah, vacation. I'll show you some of fun. Woo! Peace. <laughs> I'm out, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. I'm gone. Exactly. <laughs> so new and improved, eh? Well, in theory. Alright. It's different. I I, uh, I just checked it and played around with it a bit about uh, about 40 minutes ago to make sure that everything still functioned. Mm -hmm. well, we'll uh, see how it functions within the custom rules of this particular framework, though. Of as course. opposed to the standard one I just downloaded. Of course. Right. Yeah, I, uh, I had DDS to basically recreate Ervin from scratch because, of, you know, Macros had troubles hitting him, so hopefully it's it's solved now. That that and of course you know it was all whispered directly to you. Yeah, there's a lot there's a lot of weird stuff going on with him. So yeah, it, it might have been caused by the use of an apostrophe. Uh, might be yes. So, it, um, so it might it might be possible that mine might whisper directly to you. I don't know because I didn't have anyone to test. <laughs> all right, <laughs> well test we should. We should very soon remedy that, I think. I mean, uh, I, I guess I can just target one of you guys. <laughs> you can fix the damage. <laughs> I'll be fine. <laughs> hey, don't you be moving. We're in a combat situation <laughs> here. You come back. <laughs> um, but, all right. Just uh, uh. select Aranos. Make sure I have a plus 20 <laughs> to the hit modifier. You bastard. Well, if you're, you're going to follow with powers instead of replacing my token, shoot me. All right. Did you all see that? Yes. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. I thought Aranos took 6 damage. It works. I don't want to take 6 damage. Well, you know, you Solor Solora makes a sweeping flourish, and uh, I also added my own little cool descriptions, because I, uh, I gave uh, all of the standard book ones the middle finger. Like, that's not tailor-made to my character. <laughs> that's yeah, good. I was, I was going to do that, but I ran out of time. So. We, 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 you had three weeks! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I did not have three weeks, because I just had to recreate my character in my character about an hour ago. Uh. I was just saying, you if there's going to be space, any right? time for you not to run out of time, it would have been during the extended <laughs> vacation. <laughs> just, just saying, three weeks is not very much time. Uh, not, I mean, not three weeks, yes. one hour. <laughs> sure, in the, gla in the grand universal <laughs> sweep of things. <laughs> grand scheme of the universe? No, it's not. Uh, oh, for a D&D oh, right. session? I fucking think three weeks is a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, all right. Well, uh, Griff is away eating, as far as I know, and he said go ahead, so... I, I, you I know, guess... it would figure, you know, I, I, I made the compromise of starting two hours early <laughs> so that, you know, he wouldn't have to worry so much about it, you know, uh, falling asleep at work or what have you. Oh, would you fucking look at there? This, your, your fucking framework is fucked up. My resistances worked flawlessly, they displayed beautifully, I get to this goddamn thing, they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. The resistances have vanished. I had them stay yeah. perfectly fine on the framework. <laughs> Mine is still there, actually. So well, can, uh, maybe maybe it works if I set them for you. Maybe you need like GM stuff to come in. It's like oh, but but they disappear. Well, see, one of the well campaign the time, buttons but... should be for like setting resistances. Maybe uh, if you do it, it'll stay <laughs> on the token. I'll try. So it's yeah. necrotic, um... necrotic six and radiant six. Right. Let's try that. Oh, I, I'm, I'm a fucking, I'm goddamn immortal, motherfucker. <laughs> I have inside me blood of kings. I, I <laughs> Unfortunately, go goblins don't do necrotic or radiant damage. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. I know, unfortunately. It'd be funny if I could just no-sell one of their attacks, right? <laughs> <sighs> Has any enemy we uh, <laughs> met that, 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 that usually works. Oh. Uh, I think one enemy did necrotic earlier, but... We, we, yeah, we, we, we had that cinder spawn thing. zombie who did necrotic damage, although Jonas yeah. had it listed as untyped, so even oh. though I had the resistance, <laughs> it would still override it because it was listed as untyped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the uh, the framework when you import monsters doesn't pick up on the specifics, sadly. So, sometimes I miss. Uh, Jonas, so is a monster. Can you give me a short rest because I forgot to reset my stuff one after I remade it? Sure. Yeah. 
That's my bad. All right. Uh, if everything is up to date, let's uh, let's start, shall we? All right. All right. Uh, yeah, I, it was quite a while ago we played, so a quick recap might be a good idea, I think. Last time goblins. <laughs> <laughs> Last time goblins, indeed. Ah, I mean, uh, cave dozens, town goblins. Dozens and dozens of goblins. We uh, we were in the cow at the start of last session. We cleared out the cow. We we fought some sort of tiefling bitch who could summon, who could rather bind the souls of the dead who had uh, perished within the cow and uh, forced them into corporeal forms to do her bidding. We shut that the fuck up. Well, we, we got some torches, thanks to the spider, not Roldar. We, uh, we found a few cool things. I still have a spell book and a ritual book from uh, the tiefling that I did not sell, but uh, other items were are now uh, a part of someone who will appreciate them more. And then we deputies decided we're going to abandon the lovely hamlet of uh, Sand Point? Sandport? Sand Point. I don't even remember the name. <laughs> it's been that long. <laughs> and we journeyed to Thistle Top, and like three dozen goblins later, we're still killing goblins. Indeed. And we, uh, we left off, I think, when someone knocked at the door. With Mei Chen, yep. Yeah, and, and uh, peeked inside. Well, no, I didn't peek also, inside. I just, uh, they opened the oh, door no, for the, us. Oh, no, the goblins opened the door, yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, uh, I, I made an enticement about, like, food, or, hey, like, yeah. hey, I got them or something, and the door, the goblin opened the door. Uh, also, that cat was bullshit. <laughs> Did like the cat? <laughs> mm, it, mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was my favorite cat. No words. It's a, it's a, it's a nasty cat. <laughs> Didn't it have, like, an AC of 30 or something? <laughs> no. <laughs> but it had a lot of hit points. Yeah. Alright, so... Um, the room before you... Uh, the first thing you notice when you peek in, or the one who peeks in, wh which I think is like Roldar, maybe Ervin, maybe can get a glance in there. Um, you see that the floor is hard-packed soil, and uh, as if the builders ran out of lumber for building the walls and the roof of this old fort, or as if they simply never thought of building a floor. Uh, a number of poorly preserved horse and dog heads can be can be seen mounted along uh, along the uh, western wall here. Um, along the other walls, other sort of knickknacks and trophies are gathered, uh, like large black feathered wings of crows, probably tacked against the walls with daggers. There is a lot of blood, a lot of gore, and a lot of flies in here, and the stench is quite bad. Um, what purpose this room or hall serves for the goblins, unknown. Uh, but right now, uh, you see a very surprised goblin looking up at you. He's like, Hi! You said food? Yes. <laughs> ah, ah, I like food. Ah, uh, yes. Are, uh, are you with the other long shanks? No. Oh. You see, he's... he's, he's <laughs> So I start to wander. He's slowly <laughs> starting to creep back. Um, I thought we were going to attack him, but... <laughs> <laughs> I was you, just goofing around. <laughs> uh, you certainly could attack him. He's creeping away. He's going to get away, your boy, so... <laughs> hmm. uh, well, if you g aren't going to attack him, I will. Uh, uh, if we're going to attack, it's time for initiative. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Oh, let's see here. See if I remember any any at all of this. <coughs> Much work. He's like creeping away, looking at us, right? Yeah, he's like, ah, hey, yeah. hi. Oh, <laughs> hey, why don't you stay there and don't move? And uh, I will be right back. Hey, hey. Oh. All right. And <laughs> I'm back. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, the first to act is the quick little uh, little gnome. I have to look up how my character works for a minute. Uh, okay. I guess I'll just shoot him and see what happens. Oh god, three weeks are a long time. Yep. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, well, you start out well, let's say. Okay. Um, <laughs> like, why don't you... Oh, no! <laughs> 
That's 64 damage. Jeez. Uh, that's max damage, right? Yeah. Yeah. And as a move action, I will do nothing. <laughs> and he's only bloodied that. everyone. 64 mm. damage would kill any of us, including yep. Roldar. <laughs> Uh, he does not look very healthy, let's say, and uh, his his piercing wail of being hit in the face with a crossbow bolt, the size of his own face almost, uh, kind of shakes the foundation of this fort. Goody. Faloro. Mm, measure my distances, what? Uh, you heard the goblin uh, mumble to himself, Ah, oh, they lied to me! I say food, there's no food here! <laughs> Show me pain! <laughs> Help! <laughs> only pain. <laughs> <laughs> no food, only pain. Uh, let's see here. Saloro is gonna. Eh, we'll go ahead and move uh, up stop. here. Okay. Oh. Uh, when you move up there, you reveal some more of the, huh. the fog, and you see some reinforcements in a side corridor coming up. All right. Well, uh, that's certainly uh, valuable information to know. Let's uh, let's see what sort of. Crazy fun shenanigans we can have. First off, gotta get my drawing tools out, because you know I'm the fucking wizard. Let's see what what we what can we draw today? Ah oh, man, it's been so long since I've drawn everyone, I Oh my goodness, it's it's so comforting. <laughs> this is no time for paint, Grimmit. It is totally time for paint now. Do I want it? <laughs> oh, you better. Laura sits down and starts drawing in this hand. <laughs> exactly. So, in that case, I would like to actually continue my move. Mm -hmm. Hey, Griff. We'll, we'll go to there. So, Laura will, uh, and calling back, we've got others. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and this is, so, Laura lets out a little cackle. As, uh, as, uh, he's channeling his power. And it's just a surge from his prior lifetimes uh, coming up suddenly uh, a wellspring of knowledge, extending his hand, not quite sure what he's about to do. He, uh, what he ends up doing is... Let me go ahead and make sure I draw this right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. I'll uh, I'll get I'll let you all read the description of this. Extends a uh, gloved hand uh, towards the foes. Ha he her ha ha no no. And with a cutting <laughs> stroke, Soloro out. Ah, I didn't fix that macro. I forgot. With a cutting stroke, Soloro extends his hand and emits a brilliant blast of flashing colors from his fingertips. The radiant energy streams forward, knocking its target senseless. Now I missed eleven. Let's actually uh do my cool memory of a thousand lifetimes roll on that for giggles does 13 hit the goblin hounds will yes in that case uh they both take well they all take well he takes nine radiant damage then and they are dazed well they were gonna be dazed but apparently i can't add the days my macro doesn't work on them i guess because they're dm or GM owned. I mm. can't make them dazed, apparently. That is interesting. Um, My macro worked. Work, work. You mean uh, I was able to add the 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 properties fine in the normal slim framework. All right. Well, the Wait, my my unbalancing shot did add a slow effect. Well, that that's is true. Good. It that, that's good that yours did. Yeah. No, I'm just saying it's possible. Hmm. Just your macro that's not working. Really? Because, because I mean, yeah, if you want to really. go into the whole accusing thing, it works just fine <laughs> with Slim Framework. I even have it recorded. <laughs> I have this recorded, damn it! It's true. Uh, all right, they are dazed. Anyway, let's go ahead and use an action point. Oh wow! And uh, the second effect that we're going to make is uh, with those folks right there. Make sure I can move this way. Shut up, train! I'm busy <laughs> playing games on the internet. We'll, uh... No, I don't want to do that. I suppose. We'll do a thunder wave. More squares. More squares. Uh, he's... Well, I forgot to factor in my combat advantage, but regardless, he's fine. And we'll push him... Back to there. <laughs> and that will end my turn. Alright. 
The uh, Goblin Hound uh, is sort of dazed and surprised by all of this madness that is around him. All the colors and all the thunder. But he will, bravely... Uh, Run away. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but he will charge. Here. Blam! Try and uh, try Nash here at the Good Wizard. Let's see if I can do this. No, of course I cannot. There we go. Nash. And that's a terrible miss. Not just a miss, but a terrible miss. Yep. Yep. That's a terrible miss. All right. Uh, this hound kind of inches forward here. And uh, you hear the goblin behind him shriek. It's ah! Attack! Kill them! Hee hee hee! Ah! The goes there and uh, looks kind of forlorn. <laughs> Ervin. Okay, Ervin. Seeing Slora's brilliant, amazing, brilliant show of colours. Already, you know, blasting them. He's going to go in. Uh, move to there. Uh, Slora, would you like to take a step away? Because I can use Wolfpack tactics. No. You do not want to? Okay. In that case, I will Viper Strike Goblin Hound 12. Uh, does Days grant combat advantage? Yes. 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 Good. DM, did that play for you? Because if so, it's broken even though I've remade it. Um, yes, mm. I um, I received this here. That's, that's very it, strange. It works, in my, it works in my normal, okay. Do you have any apostrophes anywhere? I don't think so, but I'll check. Or any kind of symbol. That's very strange. I don't know. It, it could be a setting I'm, I have here, but... I don't know. I don't know what setting that would be. And since it works for the others, I'm inclined to think it's something with the token itself. Uh, did you um, uh, did you create uh, this token from scratch, or did you import it from the character generator? I imported it from the character generator. That might be it. Might be something with the character generator formatting that that actually screws this up a bit, but well, we can't really do anything about it now, I guess. Um, but yes, you uh, you do indeed hit the Goblin Hound. Good. And I guess that'll be my turn. Very well. Well, Skull Cleaver moves up here. Like, oh! My dogs, yes! I let the dogs out. Whoa. <laughs> he will charge in here, screaming and fl flinging his axe everywhere at uh, well, at the elf because he did he does not like elf very much. Don't no. like you either. All right, he hits eight damage, and he cackles in glee as he held, holds up his axe. And then it's Roller. Friendly giant or uh, Goliath, sorry. I'm gonna do a bull charge on Goblin Skull Cleaver one. I'm gonna be charging, but I'm gonna be using that as my opposite. I'm gonna charge here to smash into him. Is that alright? That is alright. Oh hey, there all we right. go. It worked this time. Sorry, you'll have to remove the day's effect from the skull cleaver. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, I I, I I didn't do anything to it. Uh, I must have just, uh, in the excitement of of spreading around colors, I must have clicked cancel instead of OK. No, oh, okay. okay. All right, roller charges in, and let's see how this one does it. Crunch, I think. Yes. Yep. And he gets pushed back one tile to here. I move into his tile. Oof. Nope, no, no. I gain temporary hit points <laughs> because of invigorating keywords, and I get to secondary attack to see if I knock him prone. And two extra damage. <laughs> Yay! 
Yay, he's prone. <laughs> Alright, so describe how this how this looks. Uh, Roldar sees a whole bunch of things. He decides, braces his feet, and just blazes forward. And as he gets there, just smashes into it, makes a quick turn, and pushes forward and beats them back into the ground. Oh, the poor skull cleaver. Teeth fly everywhere. And just before my turn ends... Boop. <laughs> Marked. <laughs> Excellent. Aronos. Now I wonder. Hmm. Like a flounder. If I push this guy. Can I push him here? I can't, right? Um. Let's see. Point again, please. This guy. Uh huh. If I push him, can I push him over there? Mm, no, you. I don't think so. You need to push every square. You push it would, him must it be would, further it away. It would be further away from him. It would be it, six it instead would. of five. Use the ruler. So, well, that's true. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Then, yeah. I would do then that. you can. Dragon frost on him then. I mean, it's a curious angle, but I mean, it is further away from <laughs> <laughs> I have a plan. He's a sorcerer, you know, they do crazy shit. They do? Yes, exactly. Break your rules. Right. <laughs> Good rules. Um, no modifiers, no. And I miss, goddammit. Well, there was your plan. Good job, sorcerer. <laughs> mm, yeah, it usually goes this way with my plans. I miss the first <laughs> attack and then I can't do shit. Uh... Uh, <laughs> 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 Probably have someone to look into that. Maybe uh, if yeah. you had memory of a thousand lifetimes. <laughs> yeah, I think that was a natural one, actually, as it was. Yeah, it was. Uh, well, I'm gonna action point. Okay. And then I'm gonna step here. Oh, you, need, you, need to, you can't really step through the wall, you need to... There you go. <laughs> he has it's enough on, movement on. to route himself around, come on, DM! <laughs> <laughs> Sorcerers um, for your walls, sir! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna stand there, and I'm gonna cast <coughs> uh, Burning Spray. Hooray! My favorite. More spray. Don't we're we're showering Roldar. them in all sorts of I'm colors. not gonna hit Roldar. Hit Roldar. I mean, what? I could have hit, hit all three of them if you haven't moved, but yeah. <laughs> like that. Mm -hmm. Burning Spray. It's okay, Griff. I'm the only one who will hit Roldar. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You're the, you're the only one for Roldar. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you never give me your ring. <laughs> uh, I have combat advantage against the Hound, right? Yes, he's dazed. Yes. All right. I forgot that against another. Thank, uh, thanks to the wizard. Yeah, you forgot that against it. But you rolled a one anyway, so. Yeah, exactly. Wasn't. All right. 14 damage. Ouch. All right. Yeah. They burn and scream. Yep. And the flame passed right past Roller. <laughs> Or goes right past Roldar. <laughs> oh, something kind of toasty. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I'm done. Alvin? Hey, Alvin is not happy that he is outside alone. Um, I will move right here. Disheartening strike on Goblin Hound 11. I do have combat advantage. And... Okay. <laughs> Boom! Um, <laughs> Again. Hmm, yeah, what he's... is that effect? 32 damage, 31 damage. Oh, he'd... Right. And action point. <laughs> <laughs> Spending all of them now, yeah. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> um, I I get plus one to attack, right? Yes. For the action point, okay. Yes, because of uh, the spell. And I miss, okay. And that's my turn. Well, that was exciting for everyone, but I suppose since that hound is gone, da 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 da. No, let's. <laughs> da, 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 da. Uh, stop! Stop! Don't move. Uh, I'm gonna try something out. Okay. Uh, Sounds wonderful. I'll move back to my normal spot. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Mm. Two twenty so far. The rest of my session will be horrible. <laughs> We we wait with bated breath. <laughs> All right, headshot me, no. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Hold on.
Did it work? I think so. No idea. Well, we are still alive, so it can't have worked. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! What 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 did you do? Is that something that we need to know? Uh, yeah, I I I tried uh, the passive uh, perception check. Oh, okay. Uh, so if if you if your characters noticed anything, um, you should you should have gotten a whisper from me. Oh, okay. Uh huh. All right. Hmm. Nothing. Alvin. Nope. Nope. Everything. Not me. Everything is down to them, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Alvin, how did you not know it? <laughs> well, his passive perception is only three points higher than mine. You know, and he's proven with his stealth checks, I can go for the thirties that. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who's really determined can hide. Anyway, let's go ahead and, uh... Oh, we need to have another... I suppose I was gonna thunder wave them, but we'll let other people handle the attacking situations. That's fine. Let's go ahead and instead create... This is a friendly one, Griff, so don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. Soloro, think about this. <laughs> As a Soloro extends his hand, and with deceitful words across arcane lips, Soloro manifests the image of treacherous terrain within the minds of his enemies. Momentarily disoriented, they expose themselves to attack. Goblin Hound has another day's effect until the end of his turn. I'll go ahead and uh, add all these things in theory. I got a comma from you. <laughs> Does that mean anything? <laughs> Maybe. There we go. All the effects added. And uh, they are both unable to charge <laughs> until the end of my next turn. Look at that Skull Cleaver's icons. They're beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> oh, poor guy. What? What? Oh, man. And, what uh, does the two mean? <laughs> the two means that he uh, he can't charge. Okay. Four more and he will die from overload. See, th th there isn't, you know, a normal... There isn't an icon in this framework for unable to charge. So I just <laughs> use one of the standard ones. And as the move action, you know what? I'm a wizard. But let's not go outside where there might be death. Let's go in the corner. <laughs> in turn. <laughs> Alright, the Goblin Hound. Hmm. And you can see the day's effect that was added due to, to the uh, the color spray hit has worn off on the Hound. So now he just has the day's effect from the illusory obstacles. Oh, only that one. Yeah, yes. it, it just, uh, I had it said to expire at the end of my next turn. So uh, it yeah, that's, went away. That is excellent. I really appreciate that. Uh, well, the uh, the poor goblin hound, he, uh, he has some something very tasty in front of him, and it's called uh, Roldar. Hey. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Down boy. Uh, and that is a. Mm. When you say tasty. He he, he, uh, he you know he bites, but it hits the shield basically and breaks his teeth. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Uh, now it's Ervin. Okay, I will go ahead and let's throw up my encounter power since might as well. Onto the Goblin Hound. Um, combat advantage. Miss. <laughs> and I will, I guess. Shift. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, the skull cleaver's dead. We can remove him. Right in front of the fire. Let's see here. Re is it remove. Re re there we go. <laughs> uh, He's dead. Interesting. All right. The uh, doors to the west here. Open up. Um, isn't he alive? Yeah. Isn't. I thought he was alive still. Oh, I completely forgot about him. He is smothered <laughs> in icons, but he's yeah. still technically uh, he alive. <laughs> I'm, I'm down here. Don't cut me out. <laughs> he's covered in blood. He's on the ground. He's splattered. <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, he has so uh, many effects on me. He's uh, like overdosed or something. <laughs> <You're awful. laughs> well, uh, let's see here. Let's, uh, let's add him to initiative again then. There we go. <laughs> I'm back. And as the doors open, um, horrible things come charging out. 